You've just seen him as Lincoln Burroughs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dominic Purcell! Top of the morning to Top you. Top of the morning man. to you, lad. <laughs> I mean, really, I was calling you Dominic Purcell, but everywhere you look, you're Dominic Purcell. That's correct, Dominic right. Purcell. But you're going to go with Purcell because you're home. This is true. This you're, is true. You are unlike so many. Sometimes we have people on here. Well, my great, 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 great grandmother was Irish. Mm -hmm. You are the real deal. Well, I am kind of the real deal. My, uh, blame my mother. She's in the audience. The mm. Lovely. My mom. Uh, my granddad is uh, Irish, uh, my grandmother is Irish, so all born in Dublin, goes all the way back. So I can claim to be Irish, and I'm very proud to be Irish. I have an Irish passport. I'm very, very honoured. This is Irish. great. You could, you could win an Oscar for us. Hey! Yes, can. Look at these pretty, pretty people. They're nice people here Very tonight. Nice people. So you, you have the, and I want to talk about your family in a few minutes because yeah. your mom's here, your brother's here, your brother's fiance is here. here, your other brother's here, true? Uh, your sister's here. <laughs> no, they're laughing, going, no, they're not. Yes, they are. They're all here. All living in what part of Ireland? Uh, Dundalk. So, so Dundalk. they all live there, yeah. yes. There's a few other, and do you get back to this country much to visit? I sneak in as much as I can. Um, it's usually uh, twice a year. Um, this year I was here for the Ifta. Ifta. Ifta's Ifter, last Sunday, Ifter, yeah. And, and this man is very, very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, proud yeah, of him. Yeah. <laughs> Ireland's Ireland's biggest export. Yeah, well, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. I'll pay you later. That was good, that was good. 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 That worked out. Um, you won that bet. Do you? <laughs> so, in terms of coming over here, you, you, I presume you stay in Dundalk. You hang out in Dundalk and have. I do. Yeah, you know, I hang with mom and dad and uh, the brothers, and I kind of uh, just walk around and mind my biz. The people in Dundalk are, um, realize that I'm kind of around and. They're very cool. They, they kind of let me kind of walk around in somewhat uh, anonymity. In anonymity. Okay, very good. Because previously, you're a big fan. Very good, very good, yeah. I just... You're taking a, you're no, taking no, a I just, out of me I now. Just, just like that. You're only, you're very, very good, very good, very good. That's close, right? <laughs> you know, he's on the couch six minutes. He's already <laughs> giving me grief. Hey, no problem. Mate. Jesus. Never that odd as you. Do you want to swap seats? Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, previously, you worked as a landscape gardener. This is true. Uh, which I'm surprised at, because you don't have the build for it. Right. And... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how do you how do you, you do? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I will say, I have been described as a rake before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, no, you have you have tremendous presence <laughs> in the garden, screen presence. Uh, uh, the landscape gardening business, uh, its loss is of course uh, <laughs> acting's gain. Yes. So how do you go up from you know herbaceous borders to you it's, know? You know, the there's, there's nothing. Um, you know, I wish I could say I, I wanted to exercise some demons and I was really attracted to the craft of acting. It had nothing to do with that. It was it was very shallow. My motivation was very shallow. It was all about fame and. And women. money and, 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 and women and, and all that kind of thing. And, um, no, but why did you really get into it? <laughs> um, fame, money, and, uh, and women. Was, um, it, was it down to uh, Platoon, the Oliver Stone movie? With that yeah, look, I, I was tired of digging holes, basically. And it, was, <laughs> it was one of those situations where I got home and I was just watching the TV and I was watching the, the, the Platoon, the movie, and it was kind of like, wow, what is it these guys are actually doing? My goodness, they're actors. I don't think I can be an actor. Yeah. So I, I looked into the paper and uh, I, I got myself off to some acting class. Do you remember your first one? I, I remember my first one. It was, um, it was awful. It was, uh, you got to, let me, let me set it up. I mean, I was a landscape gardener and, uh, you know, I, I surfed a lot and I still surf and, I drink, drank a lot, don't drink anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I'd, I'd, I walked into this uh, acting class, and it's the first time I'd ever, ever been uh, in any kind of, anywhere near close to the entertainment business. And uh, I walked in, and uh, I was surrounded by poets and intellects and uh, all these young, uh, you know, amazing, striving thespians. And I remember sitting in the back freaking out. And this is not for me. This is absolutely not for me. And I was on my way out, and I remember the, the teacher, the Rose Clementi was her name, and uh, she said, you, the guy at the back sneaking out, come out the front. <laughs> and uh, true story. And I, 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 I remember my heart stopping, um, just freaking out. 
I got onto the onto the floor, and, and there's this young girl, and she was a, obviously an actress, and uh, the, the drama teacher said, the exercise was, okay, we, we want you to do some uh, improvisation. And I was, I, 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 I can't do this, I, I can't do this. And then the, improv the improvisation started. This young lady just went into a psychotic rant, uh, screaming at me. It was like a mother-husband uh, argument improvisation thing. And I just stood there freaking out, not doing anything, just scared out of my mind. And this lady was screaming at me and screaming at me, screaming at me. And at the end of the class, the teacher said, now that is acting. That is, that, that is true acting. You would just, see, he was just standing here. He was listening. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't overreacting. And, she's, and then she, and then everyone was congratulating me because I was just standing there. And, uh, you know, it's long, long story short, she said, okay, you got something. We're going to send you off to, what, uh, to And school. what did the other, the lads... Sorry to bore you with that story. No, 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 Thomas, it's good. What did the other lads say about you going to acting class? Because you were, I presume, you were surfing, you were one of the boys. Well, they, at, 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 at some point, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm sure they thought I batted to the other side or something. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, because I grew up in a very masculine, blue-collar neighborhood, sure. and uh, it was um, it was very odd for one of their own to sort of go off to, to drama school. Uh, Mission Impossible 2 you were in, among other things, John mm. Doe was there, which we, we didn't get over here, but nevertheless your acting career was going along grand and mm. fine, and then yeah. Prison Break came along and has become, as I mentioned in the it's introduction... It's an international phenomenon. What's the deal with its... why is it addictive? Why do people seem to just keep wanting more and watching it all the time? I, I think, I, you know, aside from the, the, the you know, the sweaty, good-looking man and all that kind of That'll stuff. That'll do me. Yeah. Well, nice question. And, uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, man. I think, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the universal themes it's touching on. You yeah. know, I mean, you have the two brothers, and everyone can relate to um, love, loyalty, and family. Um, then you have Lincoln, who, whose whole life is about his son. We can, as, as a man and as men, we can... Uh, as fathers, we, we understand that, you know, and, and it has intriguing characters, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the characters are all very redeemable, you know, we all want them to succeed, um, you know, and, and of course, Wentworth Miller, you know, I yeah. mean, he was a new face, and uh, I think he was uh, pivotal uh, for, for Prison Break Success. He plays your brother, Michael, plays my brother, yeah. in, the, in the series, and mm -hmm. the, the likeness, we, look, if you get, take a look at the pair of you together in this picture, you'll see that... It's, hey, un, it's, it's, un, it's uncanny, isn't it? The, the like, how did well, it, well, I mean, Wentz, Wentz uh, a lot prettier than me, I would say. Um, but uh, you, know, you know what it was? Uh, we, we got on set, and uh, I had long hair at the time, and uh, I just shaved my head. And you know, you know, we both have big kind of melons, and uh, it, kind of, it kind, of worked, <laughs> kind of worked out. So it's like that? It's kind of like that. You know, if you've got a big head, it kind of, it kind of works well on, on TV. What apparently. about the impact of the show, it, it, being, it being so popular all over the world now? Has that changed your life? We talked about anonymity a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. It's, it's An anonymity, really? anonymity has gone. Um, that kind of, I noticed that a couple of years back, actually, where I was doing a movie in South Africa, and I got mobbed at the airport in South Africa, of all places. And, uh, and now I travel, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually on a tour promoting Prison Break now. I was in Madrid and um, uh, Brussels and Paris and Poland. <sighs> You, know, you don't have to give us every comment. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> sorry, I can't That's have good. It. I have it rabbiting on. Um, but uh, just, yeah, uh, mobbed everywhere. Everywhere you, know? you go. Do you find that weird, freaky, or do you feel, well, that's the job I chose, and that's what goes with it? Um, it's the job I chose. It's weird and freaky, and fame is good for five minutes. And then you kind of get bored with it. Isn't it funny? Did you want to be famous? Uh, yeah, of course. And then you got your five minutes and said, well, enough uh, of that. Uh, enough, enough. You know, um, God, you're a bit screwed, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, as you said before, you know, in China, they have 135 million people watching this thing. And, yeah. You know, it's one of the biggest shows in the world. And at, at the same time, I don't want to come across as being, um, as though I'm not enjoying it and appreciate it. I do. I'm, I'm humbled by its success. Yeah, well, I was in your presence uh, last Sunday and every woman in the room wanted their picture taken with uh, you. Yes, yes. One of the perks. It seems so, it seems so, it seems. Can we talk to your mum briefly? Yes, your mum's a lovely woman. Maureen. Maureen, who, come on! Maureen! Beautiful. Hey!